Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Raul Garcia fishing and outdoors. Today video we gonna review this camera, the Mukor or Mukor, I don't know what it's pronounced. Mukor, let's go with it. Anyways, let's see what is inside this box. First thing you're gonna see is this case, kind of like a letter or plastic. It's a little bit hard. It's not like super solid. But anyways, let's go and open it. And when you open it, this is the first thing you're gonna see. So the cable, I can see the camera itself and some instructions or manual in here. Let's pull up this one out and show you the ways can be used. And then you can see the model number there. Um, now let's go with the cable. Of course, comes with a plug and a USB uh, plug or so we can recharge also these two little weights and those weights gonna be attached in this plastic uh, section of the camera and that's to align the camera anyways so here's what the actual camera and nice casing in there so everything fits properly so the camera let's open it up and see what is in there uh, hold on guys I'm struggling here anyways uh, there we go so you got a nice menu buttons in there the camera itself is about four inches and also here on the side you can attach the camera nice real little section in there so you can stock that camera so there's no flying around let's plug it out and see the actual camera functioning so really nice camera let's power it off and it still have some use there we go, so Mucor, Mucor, Mucor camera, let's see, and oh, let's take the camera off so we can see actually what are we seeing, so small camera, pretty solid, the color seems pretty good, uh, really like camera, I really like it, what I don't like about this camera is the little cable and I guess the plastic in there it will show hold on what is this button oh that's the brightness uh, also what else is in the menu it seems like we have some uh, zoom action in there so you can zoom the camera that's pretty cool what else do we have in here let's press this button oh the infrared Anyway, so this is what I was saying, the little plastic attaching the camera in there. And if you put that little fin in the top, so you can put the cable. And I don't like the cable because it's so thin. And it was a lot of struggle to put that little um, cable between those uh, um, sections in there. Anyways, the camera seems pretty nice, compact, small. Um, I can wait to try it in the ice and we're gonna have some footage in the ice as well we did some tests so let's go and see you in the ice so there is the camera in there pretty neat pretty nice color you can actually see really well uh, the screen like I mentioned is four inches it's pretty small but I'm surprised with the quality you can see really good in there my only complaint is like uh, is that cable that you connect the camera is pretty thin and I think in temperatures of minus you know be kind of sketchy to start moving it around but other than that man uh, quality is pretty good um, at least on the screen I don't know the recording one I'm gonna have to try it but anyways I'm gonna find some footage from the yo-yo and compare it together so now we're gonna compare it with the Yoyo camera as you can see this is the 7 inches version of the Yoyo camera um, the quality you can see is a little bit different uh, I really enjoy both of the camera although the Mukor or Mokor I don't know what it's pronounced it got way better quality to be honest the only thing I don't like it is the 4 inches screen in the Mukor camera Thanks for watching and I hope so you find helpful this video about the Mucor camera. See you in the next one.